<sighs> Guys, what has become of YouTube and Twitch? What has become, seriously, of YouTube and Twitch nowadays? Like, now the reason, now for the making of this video, obviously, the title is, this isn't clickbait, this is legit real, this is, this is, I've been seeing this happen yesterday, and, well, I think this would be a good time for me to talk about it, because, even I can't get this out of my head, so basically, yesterday, if you guys don't know, there's like a huge thing going on about Twitch, and YouTube, in terms of their favoritism, and, like, them being, I guess, quote-unquote racist, and in my perspective, I've seen, so, if you haven't seen, there is a YouTuber by the name, oh, yeah, by Corey X Kenshin, and he made a video talking about, like, he got, like, banned on Twitch because he showed something that was inappropriate, and then, um, So then what happened was, he talked to someone who, uh, you know, was a, a streamer, you know, he was just, she was just streaming, <laughs> she was streaming something pretty inappropriate, doing something inappropriate, and what ended up happening was, um, he co well, called and contacted her, and, um, well, on TikTok, and said that she streamed something very inappropriate, was doing something inappropriate, and you will not believe the ban the, that this person has. She was a Twitch streamer. So, this guy name is like Gideon something. He's an African American YouTuber. By the way, do go check him out. Um, if you, well, obviously, everyone knows about the situation, so. I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm talking about, but basically this guy got permanently banned for showing something inappropriate on Twitch. He was streaming on Twitch, and this person who was streaming, she got, who was doing all of it, she got a seven-day ban. Seven-day ban. Nope, I'm not kidding. Streaming something inappropriate on Twitch and got a seven day ban. Like, I'm like, there's no way this is real. There's no flipping way that this is actually real. So then I, I did a little research yesterday. It was last night after streaming Genshin and I uh, found out that it wasn't just this person. I'm not, I'm not gonna mention his name, but you guys, who see this video, who have seen and heard about this, you probably know who I'm talking about, so comment down below if you want if you know who I'm talking comment down below if you know exactly who I'm talking about. But again, I'm not gonna mention his name. I will mention the other person though, who is a YouTuber, which is Corey X Kenshin. He made a video and I'll have in the I'll have the links in the description below to the two videos. Uh, one being Corey X Kenshin's, and then the other being the other, other person, but basically, what's been going on for YouTube, and I, I'm pretty sure other people are doing this as well, is they're making videos talking about YouTube and Twitch's favoritism, and in my opinion, I kind of see this all being true because, I mean, even I'm experiencing this, like, I feel like Twitch hasn't done anything. Twitch or YouTube haven't done anything to small content creators. Like, all they've been doing is post... They've, they've been just promoting big content creators because they're so focused on them. But that's not all, though. No, that's not all. So, apparently... If you guys, if you guys haven't seen it yet, but um, Twitch right now has made a, a twit a post like yesterday or so talking about how VTubers are now going to be more appearing on Twitch, or they're going to promote them. It's like, why not promote like small content creators, like even small VTubers, like they're promoting like big VTubers, like Bao, Shy Lily, and all that. Maybe Iron Mouse and ho other like. V Shoujo members and maybe Nichi Sanji if some of them even do stream on Twitch. But it's like they do people do realize what Twitch has done. 
right? Like, this has been trending, like, I think yesterday or two days ago. I don't know. I saw it, and I'm like, okay, Twitch has got to do something about this. Like, this is, this is absolute, absolutely ludicrous that they've done this. Like, I've seen it all. I've seen everything that's been going on on Twitter about this. Even for Corey, I'm like, what has Twitch and YouTube become these days in terms of... Of supporting content creators of any purpose of their um, religion and or their skin like the color like core extension and the other person um, basically they're black and I will support black content creators so if you are uh, comment down below because I'll help you out I'll subscribe, I'll you comment down below, I'll find your channel, and boom, instantly subscribe to you. If you're on Twitch, boom, I'll instantly follow you on Twitch. But, yeah, basically, they've been getting a lot, like, this has been happening for so long for Corey. Like, it's not just been, like, this has been happening, like, this year. No, this has been happening, like, for a very long time. So, if you haven't seen Corey's video, he talks about, like, how... YouTube is age restricting his videos when there's like no point on any sort of resources that did, but apparently there was. And uh, now, as now, he did mention that he was the only one who got this. Like, he searched, like, I think an hour or two about all the stuff he's been researching on people videos that he made the video I think the video he made was like about the back rooms I think he's been searching other people playing it and their videos don't have an age restriction it's only his that has got an age restriction and this has been something that I think YouTube has been doing a lot and this has been happening for like years now with Corey X Kenshin and I'm glad that he is uh, speaking up about this and it, oh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and all the good stuff. And comment down below, hashtag Twitch respond and YouTube respond in the comments below if you can. Because I want, I want this to spread. Like, Twitch needs to know about this. And even YouTube. I mean, YouTube needs to know about it too. It's time that they actually do something right for not just small content creators. But everyone in every, in any color and race, even religion, because the LQGBT community has been getting some severe, like, criticism from YouTube. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and more importantly, there is something else that Twitch has been doing a lot, and... This has been something that I think that I'm pretty sure people are probably going to argue about. And to me, I mean, what I'm about to say is something that I know it's going to be a bit hateful to VTubers, but I love the VTuber community and I will always love it. But there's just some things that VTubers have that we don't. And this has been something that... Every person on Twitch, like even IRL streamers, have been struggling about. They've been struggling like how I've saw I've saw like a comment like on um, Twitter, like on the thing that Twitter or Twitch has been doing on that posted. They're doing that thing. I saw someone post saying something like, "I don't like VTubers. They ruin IRL streamers. Have been taking subscriptions and viewers and this stuff." It's like, dude. VTubers are doing exactly what you're doing. They're basically streamers, just not with their real life face, and that's okay. Even I, even I'm like that. I'm like a VTuber. Like you guys don't see my face, and I haven't done a face reveal yet. So it's like a bit of an L take on that. I mean, well, not really, because he does prove a point. Because for me, I am not a VTuber, but at the same time. I'm not going to hate the VTuber community. I'm, I'm just, I'm not. And if someone's going to pay me to do that, it's like, bro, I'm not going to do that. 
The VTuber community has something in my heart. In my heart. That's why I watch a lot of VTubers like Obsidia, Shy Lily. I do watch Shy Lily, so yeah, a lot of people can complain about that, but yes, I do watch Shy Lily and various other Twitch streamers that are VTubers. But it's like, you gotta remember, VTubers that stream on Twitch are still Twitch streamers. And this has been a thing that's been going on for, I think, for a while, where, you know, people are pretty upset about the VTuber community. And, um, yeah. And, again, I don't have any ill will against VTubers. I like them. I follow quite a lot of VTubers on Twitter. And Twitch as well. Like, majority of the followers, the people I follow on Twitter, are mostly VTubers. And some on Twitch... Actually, no. Majority of people I follow on Twitch are VTubers. So, it's like, yeah. you Now you see that I support uh, VTubers. Even small VTubers. Like, there's... Um, one VTuber, um, her name is a bit hard to say, but it's exclamation point goddess, exclamation point. She's a, a small Twitch streamer. You guys can go check her out if you want. I'm not, I won't link that in the description because this video in particular, I just want to talk about YouTube and Twitch's favoritism and just the sheer, like, unfairness to, like, everyone in the platform that is, well, black. And I'm not trying to be racist or anything. I'm not trying to be racist in this video. I'm just saying, like, YouTube needs to start doing something. And even Twitch as well. And, um, yeah. And more importantly, here's something else I saw that was on Twitter. I saw some, th some people saying, like, you know, people weren't happy about it. And I even saw some VTubers who weren't happy. Like, small VTubers. Like, I saw someone say, like, I'm not going to do this. It's like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, seriously, like, Twitch has been going crazy. Like, everyone on Twitter right now is just going mad nuts against this. With, like, Twitch after the, the person made the video. After the video with Corey extension, now we got Twitch getting literally called out. And... Here's the other thing that I find ridiculously stupid is that Corey X Kenshin, he, he somehow managed to get his video unrestricted, but here is where things just get completely unfair. It got re-age restricted, and he then, and then they also, oh, by the way, I didn't mention, but he got the video resource from Markiplier's video, where he made it, and his video didn't get it. So it's like, yeah, it's affecting Corey, and I want to say my heart goes out to Corey and everyone else in the black community for you too, because this is some serious stuff I'm talking about, and and um, last thing I want to talk about before I end the video is that, like Twitter. I mean, yeah, Twitter has been doing good in terms of supporting co um, small content creators, but as for Twitch and YouTube, they're they're not. Like, they haven't been doing any promotion for us in terms of small content creators, and they haven't done anything in terms of in terms of like you know helping us out or doing something that we should do. In terms of like, you know, getting getting more views, but at the same time, there is one thing that Twitch has, and even YouTube has, that they always keep in mind. And you know what that is? The one thing that it is is the big VTuber, big YouTubers, and VTubers. Like on Twitch, they've been doing this, and I, I think it's time. I'm, I'm calling out all small content creators, by the way, for this, because it's we need to rally up. And my Discord server, I have a small content creator event going on. So if you want to go join that, links will be in the description for that. Even my Twitch channel and uh, my Twitter profile, if you want to check it out there. 
But this is like some serious stuff. Like this is the first video where I'm talking about where not only YouTube needs to support small content creators, but how it's not just the small content creators, it's also like the black community and everyone else. Even the old true key LQJBT, I don't know how to say it, I don't know, it's, it's weird, it's an interesting and weird name for me to say, but you guys probably know about that, and, um, one more, yeah, one more thing I want to talk about is, I just want to say, like, Genshin Impact, I feel like it's not, it's just not gonna last long for Twitch, because with with Twitch going with this mad criticism that they're do, that they're taking right now, it's like I feel like I feel like Twitch is gonna die. I I genuinely feel like YouTube is probably gonna be better in terms of content creating, and they do a good job in terms of all the stuff because you don't have to like you don't have to like stream like thirty hours a day just to like. You know, get an ad revenue. You can stream like, you can you can just make like a two minute video and get a lot of views. Like it's that easy on YouTube. And I I have been doing that too. Like I think like a, a two months ago, I've been doing that and I've been getting decent views. But there is one thing that is also a big a bit of an issue in terms of Twitch is that you can't really. You, you can't really stream too long because then it's like it makes it hard for VODs to be out. So like let's say you make a VOD, you post like a VOD on Twitch or from Twitch to YouTube. You can't do that because it'll say, oh, it's too big. Or better yet, like the whole VOD system where it's like you have a certain amount of days to watch it. It's a, it's, it's a bit weird, but that's all right. Cause I mean, I am, I am, I mean, I am affiliate on Twitch. I just don't have like the stuff ready, but you'll eventually we'll see it very soon. One day, who knows? But yeah, that's, that's it for today's video. And again, comment down below, hashtag Twitch respond and YouTube respond because this is some stuff that I think, personally, everyone needs to know about. Also, can I also get a hashtag? Um, well, I'll post, I'll have, I'll, um, you know, ha get a, a hashtag, like, maybe free this person that I'm talking about. Which I'm, I again I won't say his name in the today's video, but you guys can leave a comment down below. But again, Twitch and YouTube do better. Do better in terms of support of having less criticism and having less favoritism to your platforms. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.